Hi everyone, this is Tammy at Snowstorm Crafts. And if you're new here, welcome. And if you've been here before, welcome back. So I am super excited to show you guys today my new digitals. I have them all printed out for you and we're gonna make some fun stuff with them today. So I hope you're having a crafty day today and getting out all your craft supplies and let's see what we can do. Okay, so I'll show you them real quick. So I have a playlist uh, showing you guys how to make these and I will make sure to put that on at the end screen so you guys can come check out the playlist. And down below will be my Etsy link to come purchase these digitals. Okay, so let's see. So we got this one, which I think turned out really cool. So I had so much fun making these with you guys and this is my butterfly series. So it says, live your story happily is what I have on this one. And then this one is, it says beauty creation lived within. And I just, I just, I don't know. I just had so much fun making these with you guys. Uh, and then I have little notes on here, little sticky notes to remember what I was gonna make out of each one. <laughs> but this one is hope heart beauty. So yeah. I mean, it just turned out so fun. Okay, and this one is Faith, Hope, and Love. And then it says Surrender down here. There's that one. And then Spread Your Wings and Fly. So yeah, so I got some little sticky notes here that we're gonna make a little bit of things out of each of these. And yeah, let's get to it here. So what I want to do first is make a little junk journal with you. Okay. I have to have sticky notes to remind myself what I'm doing here. So what I did and how I made these, uh, a good amount of them, I think at least four of them, is that you could fold them and make little journals like this. So I tried to keep that in mind so you could do the fold here. And they're already done for you. That's the fun part about these. Is they're already ready. So you just fold it. Get your bone folder. So then you, you can see the little words here. And then you got the back, which is like that. So it's already a little journal. And I think that's so much fun. Okay, so first things I want to do is... Put down my parchment paper. It could get messy in here. And I'm gonna put my gloves on because I'm gonna mess around with some of the ink here. So what I have is, just for the inside here, I wanna get some, because uh, it's so white from just copying it, that I want to decorate the inside a little bit here. So I'm gonna take this with my writ dye, which this is my writ dye, and this is aqua blue that I have in the spritz bottle. And it is a concentrate liquid that I water down and use in projects. Okay. So what I wanna do is, first of all, I'm gonna go ahead and get some coffee and I'm gonna do my coffee, glue, and water mixture and just make a little it doesn't have to be glue. That's just mine has to ha happens to have a little bit of Elmer's glue in it. And either way, it doesn't matter. I just want to put down a little bit of color. So I think I'm going to do it with some coffee. So I'm going to go ahead and do it in the time lapse and put some of that down and then maybe do some spritzing and just make grunge this up a little bit for the inside covers here. All right, so what I did so far is I put my coffee and it's pretty much coffee and water mixture. You can, I, I had glue in it because I was pasting stuff down and doing things, but it doesn't have to be. Just whatever consistent consistency you want it at. And then you just use your paintbrush and just kind of do that to get a cool like uh, 
just a wash to it. Then I use my stencils, which I have my big stencils, uh, just the bigger ones here, down below in my Amazon links if you guys want to check them out. So there's some stencils, and I did my butterfly one and used some spackling because spackling is a lot cheaper than texture paste. And I just grabbed this. It's lightweight spackling just at your hardware store, and uh, it works great. So I just do that, put that down, dried it with my heat gun. Then I did the wash over the top again with the coffee and water mixture and did some spritzing with my um, aqua marine, just writ dye. Then I took my charcoal pencils here and they're just uh, Amazon basics is what I got. And they're just a char charcoal pencil and um, you get hard, soft, and then medium. So they're really cool. It's a fun little kit, actually. But it comes in a whole... I put them all in my jar here. My little butterfly jar. But it's it comes with all these pencils. It comes with some erasers down here. Uh, a sharpener. Uh, a blending tool. And then some little charcoal sticks. And stuff like that. So it just comes in this cute little package here. So if you want to check that out, I'll put the link down below. Um... So I did that, then I blended it. It comes with this cool blending tool. So then I went around and just kind of just did some blending around it. And that's where we're at. So this is gonna be a cute little just booklet. I'll just put papers in it. I wanna put a little pocket here in the front. So I'm gonna cut this out. I think that would be really cute right here. I'm gonna make that a little pocket. So I'm gonna do that. Then I want to make a little pocket corner with this one, maybe in the back here, and I'll triangle it, make a little triangle corner, and we'll go from there. Okay, I'm gonna talk about what we did here is I put in the pocket and then I put in some of the scraps here, just the leftover scraps from cutting the pocket and stuff. And then I took my charcoal pencil and just went around a little bit and then did a little shading just to kind of make it pop. It looks like it's coming out of the, pa the paper. It's kind of or out of the page here. It's kind of cool. Okay, so I did that. Then I did kind of back here the same, did a corner pocket with uh, just some of the little leftovers here and did the same thing. Okay, and then I did a belly band. So you got a fun little belly band to put stuff in. And now I think this would be fun is to do um, a little flip. Let's do a little flip. Here, and I'll show you. I'm just gonna take it. I know it's like I don't want to cut the pretty stuff off, but it's these are great. I mean, to use because you just have like you can use this and something else too. You know, like it's just already collaged for you and has all the texture looks and stuff to it. So it's just so much fun. I had so much fun making it. Whoops, sorry about that. I had so much fun making it. Okay, so this is what I'm thinking here. Is I'm gonna fold this in half. And then have a little flip like that. So I'm gonna put down, I'll go ahead and put down some 
papers here on the inside and ink it up and then this will be a great little flip to add to our journal. Okay, so I went ahead and cut these out of index cards. Um, they were these with the little puppies on the end of them. So I just went ahead and cut those off. And uh, these are either coffee dyed or onion skin dyed. I'm not quite sure. I did them a while ago. So they might be coffee dyed. All right, or tea dyed. <laughs> it could be either one. Either way, it's one of those. And I think they look really cool. So I went over and sewed them, did some sewing and did some sewing around here. Um, now I was gonna lay them like this cause you know, that would to open it and do like that. But I don't like the look of that. So I'm wanting to turn them this way, you know? So then when you open it, you could just turn it sideways and do your writing on it, which I think that'd be great. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue them down like this. Cause I think it just has a better spatial, you know, effect right here. So I'm going to turn it like that, glue it down just with my, maybe I'll use this. I'll use my art glitter glue and yeah, we'll go from there. I think I'm going to do a little sewing in the middle here too. I'm going to do the same stitch in the middle just to tie it all together and then I will glue them down. Oh my goodness, how fun is that? So I went ahead and used my crocodile, which is just my crocodile here, and just some eyelets. And I have this whole kit in my Amazon links down below, but it's so fun. And then I had just a little bulb pen that I put some uh, beads on and made it so it's down at the bottom here. I mean, geez, I think that's so much fun. And all you need is Look at this. I even have a blue one. Matchy, matchy. And you can put this anywhere you want in your little journal here. So you can either go over the page like this and clip it. You could just go like this and you can clip it on the side. You can go on the side, clip it like this. Just however you want to do it. I think I'm gonna do it like that. So many options. Okay. I mean, you could even glue it if you don't want to clip it in there. You could just take it and glue it down, and then it could just be like that and glued into there. So however you want to do it is how it should be done. Okay. There's no wrong at all when you do your junk journals. You do whatever you want. Okay, so I got that one done. Um, I don't know how long this video is coming along here, but uh, we might be able to squeeze in a cute little booklet. That's what I wanted to make out of this one. So I'm wanting to just make a tiny, just a cute little booklet with some pages in it. Okay. So, I mean, this is so much fun to play around and do all this. So <clears throat> I'm going to kind of do the same concept on the inside here and take some of the glue, uh, water and coffee mixture and just, uh, you know, go ahead and grunge it all up. Then uh, one thing I forgot to do. Da -da -da -da! I know I'm all over the place today, but that's okay. I got too many activities in my brain here. But what I wanted to do to this too at the end here is do a little spritz over the top because we're keeping with the theme of the blue here and the browns. So I'm just gonna do a little, just to tie it all together. I think that's kind of fun. And I'll let that dry over to the side. So I think that turned out kind of cool. A little just just a little bit oh there we go there we go okay so I'll let that dry and we'll look at it at the end too so I got that one and then I'm gonna kind of do the same thing to this I'm gonna go ahead and grunge it all up and we'll go from there
All right, so now I got this little booklet all done, which turned out really cute. I just went ahead and did um, just some Mars black with my stencil brush and stenciled in some butterflies on the front and the back here. Added in some avocado dyed lined paper just for a little cute little booklet here and just tied it off with a bow. I just did two holes in it right here. I just did the two hole stitch here and let's see. Let's go ahead and find some spots here. Oh, there's this one. Okay. So I've got that one. Ha! Look at that. Okay. So we got our little flip here. That turned out really cool. You can see I, I went ahead and did some stenciling in there. I had some extra black uh, paint left. So I was like, what else can I stencil? And I stenciled throughout too. So we'll do a quick little flip through. But uh, this one, you can just put wherever it wants to live. And the cool part is you could just pop it off and move it around. But um, yeah, so you can see I did some stenciling throughout here. And then this is the same concept. You can just uh, have a little cute little booklet that you can take out and do some journaling in. So let's put that there. Okay, so let's see. So that's the front of it. I think it turned out really cute. And I'm gonna go ahead and I should do that really quick. I'm gonna do a closure in the front. I'll go ahead and do a tie off real quick. And then we'll do a flip through. All right, so now we're all finished here. And I went ahead and just did a cute little um, closure here with some seam binding. And then popped in some um, eyelets here. So it just goes like that. And here's the front of it with the cute little pocket. And all the little decoration there. Got our belly band. Some stenciling throughout. Cute little flip. I think that turned out fun. And you can just turn it however you want and do your little journaling. Okay. There's that. And then there's the other side. And this is a reverse stamp of the stenciling. I, I just reversed it and pressed it down. I did the same here with the little butterflies. Got our little fun booklet. Spread your wings and fly. And then all our little papers. I think it turned out really cute. Okay. And I think that was about it. And then the back here, I did all that with the little pocket and stuff. So there we go. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it informational. And if you could just come check out my Etsy shop and you know, come purchase some digitals and have some little fun that you guys can make. And even if you don't purchase some, if you just come and favor them and heart my shop, it really helps me out a lot. And the link, like I said, will be down below. So you guys can come check them out. So I got the other ones here. And then here's parts of the ones that we didn't use. It's <laughs> just some of my scraps. So now I got to think of fun things to do with the little scraps here. So they're all fun to play with. So like I said, I hope you enjoyed this video and found it informational. And if you could please subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell, and you guys can see my next video when I post it. Like, comment, and share, and let's grow together. And keep on crafting.